Hi everyone, this is the sixth episode of the Digital Marketing 101 series. This series, uh, this part of the series is about the 12 on-page SEO techniques. I'm presenting each of these techniques as individual videos and the third of these 12 techniques is about headings. What are headings and how to write a powerful and effective heading. Headings are usually a short summary or explanation of what the information within the section of the content will be all about. Uh, you can see these in usually in uh, you know a blog posts like mine. You know you can see on my website. At the same time, these headings make it easier for search bots to understand what that web page content is all about. Google and other search engines today look at the headings, right? And they look at it to determine how relevant is this page to a user's search query. Um, so headings actually doesn't specifically impact your SEO, but there are indirect benefits. Uh, this is because, you know, uh, when you have headings within your content, uh, it, create, it, it, will be, uh, it will be seen as, you know, content of higher quality, right? Because it's easier to read. So headings are a great way to break up the text, you know. Uh, instead of having a whole entire page filled with nothing but text, you know, you can break it up, break up the content and use headings to break up the text, organize your content, uh, make it, this makes it easier for the readers to read, to consume the information that you're presenting on your web page. As you write your content, organize it into the in, into all these various sections. Then uh, think of the headings for each of these sections and add it as headings for each of the section. Uh, you know, so this will make it easier to read, right? Uh, and you know, users, uh, visitors uh, will find it easier to read and they will stay on your page. Uh, also, they will scan the page to see if this page has what they're looking for. And if they don't, then they will leave. So uh, headings do help uh, visitors to stay longer on the web page. And as a result, can result in lower bounce rates and that impacts SEO. You can create up to six levels of header tags. They are called H1 tag, H2 tag, H3 tag, H4 tag, and so on until H6 tag. The H stands for header, of course. H1 is the main heading of your web page or your blog post. H2 to H6 are the subsequent subheaders. Um, these are all sequential in levels. What this means is that H2 is the subheader within H1, H3 is the subheader within H2, and so on. So now I'm going to share with you how to write powerful and effective headers. One thing to note is that headers create structure and context, right? So what this means is the header text can, you know, provide structure and context for your article. Uh, so as, as a result, use the headers to break up the text in your article, uh, as opposed to, you know, having a long uh, entire page all just nothing but text when you have headers it makes the article more scannable and the scannable article is a readable article and the readable article is one that's more likely to perform well in search engines headers should create relevance so make sure the headings are related first of all related to the primary keyword or header that's for that page. Then use the headings, you know, that are relevant to the content. Yeah, uh, that is, you know, to make uh, the headings relevant to content as in each section. So, uh, for example, each header should give the reader an idea of the information they're going to get 
from the section below or and from the paragraphs or so. Uh, you know, and again, this makes the text more scannable, more readable. Uh, visitors will stay longer on the page and as a result, you will get lower bounce rate, which is very good for SEO. H1 is for the main heading of your web page or blog post. Sometimes it can also be the, the title of your article. H1s are usually the most visually notable content on your page or blog post, and they are probably the most important SEO feature. H1 should describe what the content is all about. And remember to try to keep the H1 between 20 to 70 characters. Add the keyword that you're ranking for into this H1 header. When possible, try to use a focus long tail keyword in your H1. You can learn more about long tail keyword and other keywords in my video about keyword and keyword research. You should Add your keyword, uh, your key phrase in your subheadings uh, and uh, especially include your main keyword in H1s. Um, your page, but do remember, as I said quite a few times in this video, make sure that your page should be readable first. First and foremost, readable. Yeah, um, and that is to write naturally. And, you know, include the keywords, but write naturally. Okay, so here's the important tip. Add keyword to H1 only. For H2 to H6, write naturally. Make sure the headers are relevant to the section content. Make sure that your H1s are all unique. Do not have uh, H1s that are duplicate. Headers can be optimized for featured snippets. There seem to be, uh, you know, the, the headers seem to make a positive impact on SEO, uh, especially for long tail voice search uh, keywords. Yeah, um, when some when a, a person makes a search query and the query is answered, um, you know, the Google and other search engines actually look at these headers. And they actually use the headers to outline different list items in search results. As you can see here in this example, um, Google uses these headers. For example, Google uses these headers to create its own bulleted and numbered lists as featured snippet results. Have a consistent style of writing headers. Yeah, if you write headers in a certain way, always write it that way so that you know it becomes uh, easily readable. Make your headers interesting. Write intriguing header text that will encourage visitors to, you know, take another look and then read your content. Here are some additional tips. Um, try not to use special characters like dollar sign, percentages, add symbols, etc. Et in your headers. And I think I mentioned this before, but remember, don't use the same headers each time. Right? Try to have unique headers. And also, don't use headers with just one word. So do you have any questions about these headings, this on-page SEO technique? Let me know in the comments below. In my next video, I will share about another on-page SEO technique, and that is image alt text tag. So remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get updated whenever I publish a new video. I wish you immense wealth and success.